There you are. I hope you didn't have any trouble finding this place. Ah. I take it Gwendis found you. And I assume that you dealt with Rosal Jewel? Then we are ready to begin. Let's find out why they tried so hard to hide this place from my memories. A forgotten tumble of ruins in the desolate Lucrati Hills. I found a trapdoor that should grant us access to the chambers beneath. But it's locked tight. Look around for a way to open the trapdoor and I'll meet you at the West Tower. I advise caution, my friend. As with Rizal Jewel and Camp Tamrith, I have a feeling that the enemy remains at least one step ahead of us. Since I assume that Moncler's memory was never affected, who knows what we may find in the ruins below. Of course. It isn't as though we're trying to save Rivenspire or anything now, is it? Go ahead, ask your questions. Lorea was a sweet young woman, committed to her family and infatuated with me. She didn't ask for what happened to her, but that doesn't excuse her behavior since. Her father gave her command of a portion of his troops, just as he did with Rizal Jewel. She's been active in the North and East, creating blood fiends and causing chaos. I assume she has her eye on North Point. It would make a handsome prize. When you restored my missing memories, I recalled that the Aeliad manuscript mentioned two ancient outposts, the Doomcrag and a place in the hills to the east. My research indicates an Aeliad ruin lies beneath this abandoned Breton fortress. I'm not sure, but there must be something here that we need. Why else would the two Aeliad outposts be linked as they are in the manuscript? First, however, we need a way to open the path down. Without that, this ruin is nothing but a dead end. Over here! Did you find anything that might help us? You found a key? Very good. Enter the ruins and I'll follow right behind you. More questions? You are a curious one. I honestly have no idea. But that lock is new, so we could be facing bandits or Montclair troops. Or they just locked the door and moved on. Ruins do have a habit of attracting monsters, however. If we work together, I have no doubt we can succeed. On these ruins. It's just as I expected. Lorea knew I'd come here and has placed an obstacle in our way. As I feared, the delay caused by my missing memories allowed Montclair to reach this place before us. This veil 
It has Lorea's deft touch about it. Lorea has placed a veil upon these ruins. It's a simple illusion spell that she amplified using the power of the lightless remnant. It hides the true topography and makes us see exactly what she wants. She set the trap, and we walked right into it. We push forward. Lorea's veil is far from perfect and she made it specifically to hinder me and my vampiric charges. She wasn't expecting you, however. You should be able to guide us through the veil, using the tears that litter the illusion. You did it. You were able to widen the tear so that we can see the path ahead as it truly is. this ancient place and awoken its gods. The way ahead appears blocked, but I'm sure it's another illusion. way. With the veil torn, I can see her way up over there. clear this portion of the veil so that we can move forward. See if you can rip open a tear and shred this illusion. Whenever you are, my friend, I just hope there are a sufficient number of tears for you to rip apart. I'd hate to get trapped within Lorea's veil with no way out. Hopefully, that's the last of the veil. Let's see if we can get through that door now. Well done, my friend. I'll meet you on the other side. I think what we're looking for is just beyond this chamber.
item we seek is through here. Follow me. This must be what we're looking for. Amazing! It's as though it has been waiting for us all of this time. I wonder, is this book real or just another of Lorea's illusions? Remarkable! It appears to be an intact volume of alien lore. If it's real, then this is what we came here to... No. This can't be correct. This is all about the remnant of light, before it became corrupted. It mentions that the remnant requires a vessel to make full use of its limitless potential. A container for its abundant power. That seems likely. Between the relic's magic and the vampiric abilities I inadvertently provided, Montclair has become more powerful than I expected. The book also says that if we break the vessel, we break the relic. I will need to think upon that. Well, my friend, it appears that the book is real and not part of Lorea's illusion. I believe it will be of great help to us in the trials ahead. That said, I have much research to do. Ancient Iliad isn't my native language, you know. I believe so, yes. I have much more reading to do before we get to that point, though. Know that we wouldn't have this advantage if not for you. I could never have navigated Lorea's Veil vale without your help. While I continue my research, you should head to North Point. Gwendas caught wind of Lorea in that area, and I had her direct Doral and Tamra to take their troops north. I'm sure they'd appreciate any help you can provide. Baron Doral considers North Point to be his seat of power. He has a number of holdings there, including a lucrative maritime endeavor. It makes sense that Montclair would send Lorea there. If they control North Point, they control the North. Gwendis reported that North Point has been sealed. I fear Montclair already controls the city. Find Baron Dora. He commands the troops amassing outside the city. I am sure he has a plan in motion. Talk to the Baron and see what you can do to help. I expect that Baron Dorel and his troops will have found a good vantage point outside the city. While you help them liberate North Point, I'll continue to study the alien book we discovered. Very well, ask your questions. And then I expect you to make your way to North Point with all due haste. Certain? No. But her hand was definitely present here at Lucrata. And we know she commands Montclair's forces in this area. I expect you will face Lorea before your work at North Point comes to an end. As far as I can tell, no one other than Razal Jewel and Lorea have seen Montclair since the events at Doomcrag a few weeks ago. He could still be atop that desolate peak. On the other hand, he could be anywhere. 
so stay on your guard. Nice of you to finally join us. Those damn Montclairs have locked me out of my own city. If any of my people have been hurt, I'll kill Montclair and his daughter with my bare hands. You know how to get things done. Join up with Scordo and help him find a way into the city. I'll keep the troops on alert and ready to move on your signal. Reports indicate that Baron Montclair hasn't been seen in weeks. Though this mess has his fingerprints all over it. His daughter Larea, on the other hand, isn't afraid to show her face. We're assuming she's in command here. Prior to her mother's illness, she was a charming young woman. A real magic-using prodigy. Now it's like she's been replaced by a dark seducer. Men and women will do anything to please her. And she's shown a remarkable affection for extreme cruelty. North Point is an important trading center with many House Dorel holdings. Whoever controls the city controls the northern region of Rivenspire. If I were oblivion bent on conquering the area, it's certainly what I would do. My son, Elec, was in charge while I was at Shornhelm. If he's still alive, he must be somewhere inside the city. Beyond that, the entire populace is loyal to House Dorel. But I have no idea what kind of forces Montclair set loose within my city. I sent Scordo and a small group to establish a secure base among the farmhouses outside the city. He's supposed to find a way into North Point and then send us a signal. Since that hasn't happened yet, I assume he's still working on it. Countess Tamrith went with him. Against my better judgment, I might add. And that fancy knight Darien decided to tag along. He's gotten rather friendly with Scorda since he arrived. I hope they can slip inside or this is going to be a long siege.
You walked into the wrong farmhouse, Montclair! Well, kiss a troll and call me Pumpkin. I know you from Shornhelm. Did Baron Dorel send you? I was the orc in the cage. Not my most shining moment, but it's not like I'm a noble or anything. No matter. I'm just glad you're here. It's a disguise. What's wrong? Don't you like it? Is my helmet on crooked or something? We're going to sneak into North Point. Not usually my approach, but Countess Tamrith and Darien helped us get this far. No idea. He went to scout around and hasn't come back yet. So far, we've learned that patrols outside the city consist of untrained fighters with orders to keep people away. Only the officers seem to know what's going on inside. I suggested busting a hole in the wall, but the Countess decided we just save that as a last resort. Darien went out to search while we took care of the farmers. They came to us for help, and you know how the Countess feels about refugees. Do your worst, lackey to a foreign crown! I won't tell you anything! Well, I guess that would be all right. I am a guard of the First Order. A member of the Blood Talon Cloaks of House Montclair. More than that, you won't get out of me. Why could that possibly matter? Really? Your beloved Countess would never stand for that! You're bluffing! You're the one? You killed Riz al -Jul? I'm just a guard! The officers know what's going on, but they never tell us anything. All I can tell you is they have a camp to the east, on the coast. If you want information, you have to talk to an officer.
I was wondering when you were gonna show up. Wanna bite? Reconnaissance, but keep your voice down. No need to wake the good captain. And know what I learned? There's not a single guard in North Point. Not a one. Lorea ordered them to get out and to keep everyone away. Isn't that enough? I was fairly proud of that bit of espionage. But you're right, there's more. The good captain here lets slip that there's a smuggler's tunnel. Leads right into the heart of the city. It's our best option for getting inside. My, my, Sidarian. That was impressive. But when it comes to smugglers' tunnels, I think there's a thing or two I can teach you. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Why don't you find out what our vampire vixen is talking about? I must say, Darian certainly has a way with the ladies. That's not how I'd go about extracting information from the enemy. But I can't fault his results. The old smugglers' tunnel should lead into the city, if we can get through it. Well, the smugglers who use the tunnels installed a gate. Gives them a monopoly on the black market in North Point. The tunnel will get us into the city, if we can get past the locked gate. The smuggler boss is a tough pirate. Goes by the name of Lagra. If anyone has a key, it's her. But the Montclairs attack any boats that approach the city. There are wrecks up and down the coast. If Lagra's still alive, that's where we'll find her.
What do you think you're doing on my ship? Do you know what I did to the last stowaway I found? Well, the last time I looked, my hold didn't lead into the city. Wait a moment. My key! If you're one of those Montclair bastards, I won't go down without a fight. Now give me back my key. Well, you're a tough one, aren't you? All right, we'll do it your way. I was coming back to get my key. I need to get into North Point myself, rescue my gang. Why should I let you have the key when I have my own needs to consider? At the moment, all I care about is the safety of my gang. They were inside when the city fell. But if this turns out to be a trick, Oblivion won't be big enough for you to hide in. The tunnel's in the cove. It will take you into the city. The tunnel is inside the cove beneath the lighthouse. That key will unlock the trap door. the others are waiting. Tell us you found something, hero. We could use some good news. I'm not interested in news. There's Tell me you found something good, hero. It's not like the fate of Riven Spire is hanging in the balance or anything. Right then, let's go see what Lorea's doing in there. But brace yourself. I don't think we're going to like what we find. North Point. It just feels... empty. I sense life in there, but it's faint. Barely perceptible. We need to be ready for anything. His Lordship, the Baron over there, wants us to head inside, see what's going on, and secure the area. He wants us to be slow and careful so as not to damage his precious city. Good job getting that key, by the way. Now let's go save North Point. I need to let Verandas know what's going on. In the meantime, talk to Scaldo. He knows the city like the back of his hand. So it's just us mortals from here on in? It's fine with me. I don't mind admitting that the idea of friendly vampires kind of creeps me out. North Point was my home for the last few years, so I know the place pretty well. Never snuck in through a smuggler's tunnel, though. That's gonna be a new experience. Just remember that we're part of House Montclair and things should go fine. We need to sneak in slowly, one at a time. Wandering around as a group would just be inviting trouble. The tunnel is supposed to lead through the lighthouse. We need to get inside and find a place we can use to get the lay of the land. I'm coming with you!
Check the buildings. There has to be one we can use as a safe location. <laughs> Here. I hope he isn't one of these blood fiends. Anyway, this place is too small for our needs. Let's keep looking. Do nicely. Let's make sure it's clear. Go on. Go find the rest of our assault team. I'll have this place all cozy like in no time. Because you're gonna go back out there and let them know where we are. And see if you can figure out where Lorea is hiding while you're at it. I'll get the place settled and make sure we don't attract any unwanted visitors. Watch your arse out there. I mean, did you see all the vampires and blood fiends? Well, you better hurry. We don't want to leave his lordship and her ladyship alone out there too long. It isn't safe. <laughs> There you are. I thought my son might be hiding here, in his office. But all I found was his journal. You might as well have a look. Alec and I haven't always seen eye to eye, and he's made no effort to hide his feelings about me and his journal. He does mention the arrival of Lady Larea, though. I'll tell you more when we gather with the others. No reason to repeat myself. Serene Manor. I know it well. Nice to see we finally found a good use for that pompous ass. I'll meet you there. We'll discuss the contents of my son's journal when the entire team is together. Try not to let the blood fiends suffer when you kill them. They were the citizens of North Point once.
Letting a noblewoman wander alone through a city full of vampires and blood fiends? What was Scordo thinking? RK guides our way as usual. Are... Are they all like this? The people of North Point? Did Lorea turn them all into... these... vile creatures? May the light watch over them. Praise RK. I can't believe that sweet Lorea would do something like this to our people. What could have driven her to such horrors? I'll head to the manor and meet you there. Gather the others and let's meet at the manor. We have plans to make and I fear our time grows short. The light preserve us. tried to tell me something. I couldn't make it out. Be on your guard. Here comes more of those monsters. Occurrence. Oh, who am I kidding? This happens to me all the time. Can I assume the house you emerged from is our safe location? Of course it is. I'll just wander over and have a little lie down. It's all the same with you. been here all along, and your son didn't do a damn thing about it? According to Alex's journal, yes. He seems to have been infatuated with the woman. Didn't even get alarmed when she started turning people into blood fiends. More blood fiends? I hate this. Just give me something to hit already. But it does sound like your son betrayed North Point, Baron. It's the Remnant. It put Alec under her spell. I'm surprised he was even able to write in his journal. Maybe that was his way of warning us. The Baron was just filling us in on what was written in his son's journal. Spell or no, Elec has a lot to answer for. If he's even still alive. First, we need to find out if anyone survived Lorea's private party. The Countess heard noises coming from the inn. It's not much to go on, but at least it's a place to start looking. So Darien accomplished something useful after all. Go upstairs and get that key. Funny thing, Darien was scratched and battered, claimed the blood fiends bit him. But the Countess didn't find a single bite mark on him. Guess he was mistaken. Part of me wants to find Lorea in there. Then we can put a blade through her and be done with this business. But I really hope the townsfolk have crowded in there and barricaded the doors. Either way, we need to get in there and see.
Darian can't talk right now. I gave him something to relieve his pain, and to quiet him down for a little while. The man does love the sound of his own voice. The end of my staff. Right to the side of his head. Best way to quickly quiet a delirious soldier. He was making enough noise to give away our presence, and I was in no mood to fight a horde of those creatures. A key? Yes. He was holding on to it rather tightly. I had to pry it from his grip before I could tend to his injuries. Is it important? RK provides. Bless us all. I heard sounds coming from the inn as I made my way here. Now we can get inside and see what's in there. I hope it's the survivors of this terrible disaster. I'd hate to think that Lorea turned or killed them all. Can't talk now. The pretty lady said it's sleepy time. Shh. I'm going with you to check on the inn. Scordo, when we give the signal, call in the army. Head to the inn. I'm right behind you. I see plenty of Montclair's monsters, but no survivors. Let's keep looking. Cut down his own... Let's check upstairs. Someone must have survived this nightmare. Whatever you may be, I advise you to go away and leave us alone. These people are under my protection, and I will not allow you to harm them. I believe we are perfectly safe up here. Thank you all the same. Now go away. You have more than enough victims to suit your needs. I won't allow you to have any more. That's just what I'd expect one of Lorea's minions to say. Now leave us alone. You, in the attic. I am Allard, Baron of House Dorel. And I swear you will be safe in my hands. It's good to see you're still alive, my old friend. And you as well. But tell me, is Elec hiding up there? I'm sorry to say, but no. I left him at your manor. He insisted that he wanted to stay. It's good to see Baron Allard again. He's like a brother to me. It's been weeks since we last saw each other. I only wish this reunion was under better circumstances. When Lorea sealed the city and began turning people into blood fiends, I used my sword to cut a path to this inn and led as many as I could to safety. I was forced to kill friends who turned into monsters, but I was able to save some of our people. Quite a few, and there are more hiding around the city, protected by members of the North Point Guard. I gave the order myself as soon as I saw what Lorea was doing. I just wish Lord Ellick had been able to resist her as well. 
It started innocently enough. She had Lord Ellick call a gathering at the square. Then she addressed the crowd, saying how the blessing of Montclair would soon be upon us. That we would join her. Love her. Then people started turning all around us. A spell, perhaps? I'm not really sure. She made some strange gestures and spoke a few arcane words. Then it was as if a wave of power flowed out of her. People immediately began turning into blood fiends. But not everyone was affected by her blessing. Lady Larea has taken Dorel Manor as her own. But I have a key. Take it. Save as many of our people as you can. And be aware that Lord Ellick is still with her. He was alive when I last saw him, but completely under Larea's influence. Come up, come up! You must introduce yourself before you can join the festivities. Oh, I know you. You must be the one her beautiful ladyship has been expecting. You're just in time for our grand celebration. We're celebrating the new and better life that will soon be ours. Lady Larea is going to honor us with her blessing. And then, we will never die. Careful, friend. That's the lovely Lady Larea you've just insulted. Now forgive this first slight, but if you persist, I will be forced to defend my lady's honor. Probably, but it's not what you think. We freely accepted the will of the beautiful Lady Larea. She loves us, and we're devoted to her every wish and whim. My lady is upstairs. I'm sure she'd love to meet you. And when she tells you about her blessing, about the wonderful gifts she brings, I'm sure you'll fall in love with her, just as I have. Just as we all have. Friends, fellow nobles, the glorious blessing of Lady Larea is almost upon us. Let us prepare ourselves to bask in her presence. So much better. Well, well, well. You're not at all what I was expecting. That makes this so much more exciting. Let me take a look at you. Hmm. So you're the one who dispatched my father's pet Argonian. Well done, by the way. Well done. I'm so glad you're here. I was becoming dreadfully bored with Alec and the rest of these silly nobles. Isn't it fascinating? You want to strike me, but your weapon hangs loosely at your side. I wonder why that is. Oh, I know. It's because I will it. This is my world now. I feel your desire to please me, and I can use it to make you do as I wish. You believe the nobles are in danger? 
You want to save them? <laughs> How sweet. They love me. They have given themselves to me. Thanks to the Remnant, I am their god. And now I also have you. The hero that Verandus presumed to use against my father and I. You're trying to resist me? Oh, <laughs> what sport we shall have. But first, I have duties to perform. Come, join me downstairs. We must attend the celebration. Perhaps I'll even honor you with the first dance. Before you try to kill me. You need to resist her, my friend. You must break free of her spell before all is lost. Just as in Locrata, Lorea has cast a veil. It hides her, protects her. You must find a way to the universe. Veil is a powerful illusion, but just as at Lucrata, you can manipulate its power using a tear. You have entered the Veil. Now find Lorea and finish this. As usual, Verandas once again ruins my fun. I guess I'll just have to destroy you now. Pity, but I can always get another pet. Hope to save Lorea from this fate. Or else, I should have been the one to end her campaign. I'm sorry this unfortunate task fell to you. Lorea gathered the nobles here, played with them, forced them to love her. It was the closest she could get to real happiness since the loss of her mother. When she was done playing, she was going to turn them all into blood fiends. Your perceptions are excellent. She used this veil in two ways. To hide herself and to overwhelm your senses with illusion. Unlike Lucrata, instead of shredding the veil, this time you used the tear to enter Lorea's illusion. With Lorea's death, the power of the Veil fades. As soon as it dissipates, the nobles will appear. But now the final confrontation draws near. Gather our forces and meet me at the Shrouded Pass. We must return to the Doomcrag to end this. What? What happened? Did 
this? What happened to my people? Lorea Montclair? Yes, she arrived here. She said she was here to help. Then... I can't remember anything else. Is the rest of North Point... Is the city safe? I... I need to get outside. Find my father. I need to make sure that North Point's all right. Of course. Give us a moment to compose ourselves and we'll meet you outside. People, listen to me. Let's head outside and make sure the rest of the city is secure. We'll return for the Fallen later. Right now the living need us more. In the name of High King Emric, and in accordance with the laws of the land, I hereby order the arrest of Elec Dorel for treason, and the death of his kinsmen. But father, it wasn't my fault. You allowed an enemy into our city, into our home. Dozens fell to these monsters because you couldn't ignore a pretty face. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I'm not even sure what happened. The Reyes said she wanted to help, and... I'm sorry. Apologies won't bring our people back. It won't return honor to our family name. Guards! Take Alec away. You are dead to me, Alec. Dead to me. I'm sorry I disappointed you, father. It won't happen again. You may not believe this, but that wasn't how I wanted our reunion to play out. But laws were broken. People died. I can't ignore our laws. Not even to save my son. I left Elec in charge. The safety of North Point was his responsibility. Someone has to answer for the deaths he caused this day. If I was in his position, I would expect the same treatment. Lorea paid, and for that I thank you. But Elec wasn't under a spell when he welcomed her into North Point. That was his choice. I won't leave him here to make the same mistake again. Shrouded Pass? That means Montclair is in the Doom Crack. Then the time has come to strike down the traitor and restore peace to our shores. But first I want to thank you for helping the people of North Point. I won't forget your bravery. It has been a grueling day. Restock and rest. We'll begin the march to the Doom Crag when you're ready. Then the time has come to meet Count Ravenwatch at the base of the Doom Crag. Head for the Shrouded Pass and find Verandis. I'll gather our troops and meet you there. I've explored a few alien ruins in my time. Dangerous places. But you know me. I love dangerous places. So Montclair is at the Doom Crag? Perfect. I always wanted to assault a haunted pinnacle high in the mountains. RK, preserve us. I don't relish the idea of climbing that cursed peak. But if that's where Montclair hides, then the Doom Crag is where we must go. You know what really chaps my breeches? Montclair's troops stole a whole bunch of the weapons I just completed. I'll be working for weeks to catch up. It's 
It's good to see you. Is there something I can help you with?
She needs some hope. Some reason to live. Our farm. Everything we owned. It's all gone. You'll hear our story repeated around Rivenspire, I expect. The roads just aren't safe anymore. Bandits from the Orc's Finger ruins hit our farm. They slaughtered livestock and looted the place. We only escaped because we hid. Then we ran. Until the next disaster befalls us. Marion. She lost her necklace. A family heirloom. You look capable. I have to stay with her, get her to Shornhelm. Would you go after these bandits? Try to find her necklace. Thank you for even considering this. Look for us in Shornhelm if you find it. The necklace. It's been in her family for hundreds of years. I think that necklace meant more to her than the farm. Bitter hand bandits. Bitter bastards, more like it. Trouble for everyone these days. If my brother Adol were here, we could have fought them off. But I couldn't take them on by myself, not with Marion to protect. He's living the good life as a merchant in East March. We used to be quite a pair, fought back to back across the face of Tamriel. But then I met Marion and settled down. Adol went soft and became a fishmonger. Keep your voice down. No, we're not married. We've been together for years, but I can never find the moment. And with her broken up like this, well, that moment isn't now. Funny name for a dreadful place, isn't it? It's one of those alien ruins you find scattered about the region. The Bitter Hand took it over recently. Been using it as a base ever since. Story goes that there was an orc warrior long ago that came through the region looking for spoils and battle. He met his end in the ruin, dead at the hands of an alien lich. Only thing they found of him? His finger bone. The name stuck.
From here to the chapel in Shornhelm to repent of my misdeeds. Find me there at the chapel, and I will ensure you receive a fruitful reward for your help. Thank you. I will see you again at the chapel in Shornhelm.
what's this? Another stranger strutting into my town? Perfect. I'll probably give you the mayor's job. Experience? Oh, you don't need that. Just ask the new constable. Me? No. Why would I be frustrated? Ten years as town constable and the mayor just up and decides to fire me the other day. Can you imagine? Says I'm getting too old and the new constable will do a better job. The dung heap bastard. That's the thing, no one even knows him. Uh, Govindian, that's his name. He and his bailiff sauntered into town last week, and now he's constable? Something smells wrong. Say, think you could poke around and try to find out what's really going on? Sad times when I have to rely on a stranger. But I do appreciate you asking around. The mayor, the jeweler, the miller, they're all acting strangely. There's something they're not saying. I'll be back at the inn if you learn anything. You have to understand, I've known these people for years. Shared drinks with them, gone fishing. I thought we were friends. Then all of a sudden, the mayor fires me. And now, no one even has two words to spare. To me, that's strange. My drinking? My Moloch, no! I haven't had a drop in years until this happened. I quit a long time ago after I woke up with a skinny little wood elf in my bed. Hmm. As for today, this is my last drink. Well, maybe one more. No, I'm not coming. No, no, I'm not. Don't even ask. I'll come back, but only when Gaylord says it's safe. Yes, that, that's right. Only when Gaylord says. Gaylord told me to stay right here until then. Gaylord is my friend. He looks after me since my parents died. Gaylord said it isn't safe in town. Oh, no. Oh, that constable. Gaylard recognized him from Daggerfall. Said he was a bad man. Gaylard went to meet the constable, but never came back. Gaylard went to meet the constable in the constable's new house. Just there, to the south. Used to be the fisherman's house, but the constable took it. The fisherman just went away. I hope Gaylard didn't go away, too. I think perhaps it's best if you go ahead and close up the shop early today, Lady Mandori. In fact, why don't you go ahead and do that now? Yes, Constable Gavendir. I'll close up right away. Just 
Don't do anything rash. I'm not selling anything, friend. You'll have to go inside and talk to Sabir. My part in this business is in acquiring the items we sell and managing relations with our partners. It's about time. I haven't heard anything from that slippery lizard in weeks. If she's not able to deliver a steady supply, we can't keep doing business together. Tell me you've got something more for me than an excuse. Ha! She's getting out of the bandit business? Impossible. What's she going to do? Move to Shornhelm and try to earn an honest living? That's... that's really courageous of her. To tell you the truth, I've often dreamed of doing the same thing. I thought if I tried something like that, then she and the other bitter hand bandits would track me down and kill me. I was afraid. I don't know. Where would I go? What would I do? Maybe I could start over with Tibaja. Yes. Tell her to keep an eye out for me. I'll have to think about this, but it's starting to sound like a good idea. I don't care what happens. Remind me to never drink that rum posset again. You were asking around town, though, about that toothless run of a constable. Did you learn anything? Hmm. Hostages? <laughs> I knew those bastards were up to something. Damn. Constable Gavendian just left here with Lady Mondori. Bailiff Sagabar's still upstairs, though. We should try to get into his room and see what else we can find. Well, I bought this sleeping draft so I could sleep off this headache, but I guess I won't be napping now. Take it upstairs and find a way to distract Sagabar. Slip it into his drink, then follow him into his room before he passes out. Understand why this inn is so popular with travelers. The beds are like rocks and the mead tastes like the sweat of a dog. I will not spend one night more here than is absolutely necessary. Look, I have just about ha- Oh, sorry. I thought you were that lecherous bailiff again. He tries to grope me every time I bring him a drink. Gall and pox, of course not. I'm a barmaid, not a strumpus. Besides, I know his type. He may talk sweet, but get him behind closed doors and he turns mean. I try to avoid his kind. What, from looking at my bottom? If I knew how to make him stop, I would have done it hours ago. No, I just want him to leave me alone. What do you say? You interested in having a bit of a laugh? I developed this little trinket to summon a Banekin. I thought it would impress the Archmage, but instead it got me kicked out of the Mage's College. I was thinking of testing the trinket here. You know, to frighten someone and have a laugh. Here. I was thinking the barmaid. But if you're crazy enough to try it on the bailiff, all the better. Depending on how it works, 
Maybe I'll go into business selling these things. Let's see how it works. Oh, sweet Tuwaka. Save me. It's a Bankin. Suddenly, I don't feel so well. Now that my skull stopped pounding, I'm ready to crack someone else's. Did you find anything in that Red Guard's room? Do we know where they're holding the hostages? All right, we've got to go get them. That's the most important thing. Did you find anything to explain why Govendian went to all this trouble? He didn't do it so he could just steal my job, did he? Then maybe I should stay here and rouse the bailiff. My head's clear, but my legs are still wobbly. You go to the old mill and free the hostages, while I drag Sagabar to the stocks. He'll tell me what they're planning, one way or another. Raise the eight. Did you kick that stupid thug's teeth in? I don't know what was worse, being held hostage or smelling that ruffian's breath. What about the robbery, though? Did you stop them, or did they get away with the jewels? You didn't know? That's why they were holding us. Gavendian was waiting for Lorevive Mondori's big amethyst parcel to come in. He was holding the three of us hostage to keep the town in line. Hours ago, that thug Bullzog was actually going to execute us if he didn't hear from that crooked constable soon. You really came just in time. We should hurry into town and see if we can't stop Gavendian. Gavendian did it all for the jewels and got away with it too. Yeah, he got me good. I'll survive, but he cut Lorevive's throat. He didn't have to. He just did it to prove a point. I thought I could be cruel, but he is a monster. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe if I hadn't confronted him, he wouldn't have killed her. At least the hostages are all right. You did your part. 
And you did it well. We can't let that maggot-eating bastard Govendian get away with this. Old Sagabar wasn't so tough after he got into the stocks. He told me where Govendian went, where their camp is. What I want to do is go after Govendian myself. But that's not going to happen anytime soon, and I don't want him to slip away. If you're willing, then yes. Do whatever it takes. Just put him down. Oh, and retrieve the jewels, too. They always come after me and they always die. Sagabar and I were just making bets on whether you'd return. Looks like Sagabar's a two-time loser. Did you do it then? Did you kill Gavendian? Thank you. I suppose it will do little to console young Reuben, but at least we can give Lady Mondori a proper funeral. I got my job back. The mayor's even increased my wages. You have my gratitude. By Moloch, you have the whole town's gratitude.
I'm glad Constable Agazu got her job back. She almost drank all my reserves in one night. Well, I originally called this place the Fell Inn, but nobody seemed to care for that name. I thought it was appropriate, but it didn't really appeal to the Bretons or the Orcs. They don't really like the Run Inn either, but what do I care? What's more surprising, that we made it to Sean Helm or that you did? Did you find Marion's necklace? Shaw's bones, you did it. <laughs> Thank you. With this, Marion will make a full recovery. I know it. You may even get up the nerve to ask for her hand. <laughs> It is good to see you, my generous friend. I came here to pray to Mara for forgiveness for my past, and it was like the clouds parted and the sun shined on my soul. I have decided to stay and devote my life to Mara. It is a better life. She did. That is funny, but I do not expect she will follow through. Regardless of her path, though, I am grateful she will not interfere with mine, and for that, I have you to thank. You have cleared away the weeds so that I may set down new roots and thrive. Someday, I hope I can do the same for another, and repeat the cycle. No, 
For many years, I dreamt of escaping the current that carried my life. But it demanded I swim upstream, and such a sacrifice I was not willing to make. Until now. I suspect Brigabeth will not make the sacrifice, and she will not change. 